All right, welcome back. Welcome back to Cooking with Shellster. We have our final part that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this chicken up in order to put it in the oven. Here we go, let's get started. So we had went ahead and cleaned the chicken. We have everything in order here. Went ahead and switched gloves. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and basically take the chicken right along the cavity part, okay? And we're gonna rub our hands in here and see the, the pocket area. Okay, now if this didn't have a pocket area, we would have went ahead and made one with a knife. So we have another pocket area over here. So it's not open as far as right here. So what we want to do is go ahead and create a slit carefully right there and then rub our hands and now we fill a pocket area. So we're going to take the butter that we had earlier and it kind of slots on easy with the butter. So we're going to take a fair amount and you're just going to put your fingers in there, take your other hand and hold and slide out. Now you want to flatten the surface and spread it about. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Open in a little wider if you need so, but do not disturb too much of the protective uh, cavity where it's going to hold the buttery. So we're going to put two heaping spoons, uh, about two tablespoons in there. We're going to slide that across in the chicken. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to switch the chicken around, and we're going to kind of do, the, do this all around the chicken, underneath the skin, okay, turn it on its back, and here we don't have too much of an area where we have pockets, okay, what you turn on is right here where the neck is, do the same thing, create little pockets, on this side, left and right side. In the middle, don't worry about the middle, do the left and right side. This can be a little messy, don't worry. Create a nice pocket, put it in there. Hold your hand with the other hand and come out. Okay. Rub this all over the chicken. Okay. This is going to give a brownness to the chicken. Open here the cavity, the breast part, rub it in there. I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to put some in the middle of the cavity of the chicken and just get it all in there. Okay. Don't worry about the mess. This is a messy part. But if you have your gloves on, it'll be much easier. Now I went ahead and I melted some butter and I set the oven to 350 degrees on bake. And the reason I melted more butter is so that I could get the areas that the butter didn't stay so that the chicken would be brown all over. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves. And I am going to get the ingredients that we started with earlier. I'm going to get a pan and I'm going to put more gloves on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer from the cutting board to uh, about a one-fourth deep pan or what have you. 
So you can place the bird in here. Okay. You're gonna sit this out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and in the cavity, we're gonna take the part where the breast is and we're gonna place inside apples. Okay. may not be able to use them all, place about three or four. And then you can go ahead and stuff in, want to get it way back in there, the uh, oranges. Now if you want it, you can tie this up like so, but I'm not going to worry about doing that. Okay. Now, potatoes, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we want to season those. So with the melted, melted butter, we're going to go ahead and pull some butter over here. Okay. We want to keep a little bit more so that we can actually rub the chicken. Want to get a little oil? Two tablespoons, maybe. And I'm going to take some oregano and I'm going to sprinkle that in there. Like so. Then you do a little pinch of salt and pepper. Pinch of salt. Got three dashes of pepper. And we're going to also put in the onions. Now, if you want, you can add some, um, we can add some uh, carrots to this. So, what you're going to do is basically take your chicken and lift it up. Put some. Potatoes on this side, get some potatoes on that side. So now you have potatoes on each side. Now you can either add water or a mixture of both. I got chicken stock, and we're going to put a fair amount in my measuring cup we're going to put about a half a cup water and about two thirds of chicken stock so you get the one cup and you're just going to pour along the sides like so Now with the remaining of butter, we're going to take and we're just going to dab, dabble it all over the chicken so that it can get a nice golden brown. Paying attention to the wing area and the breast area. Now that it's ready to be placed in the oven for about one hour or 45 minutes and you can always check with this popper this is how I would cook a chicken and if you want you can stay tuned for, for the finished product thank you for watching cooking with Shelster have a nice day